Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will learn how to rearrange and delete table view cells. So if I press edit over here, then I can re I can rearrange table view cell and press done or else I can press edit and delete a cell. So let's get started. Here I have already created a new Xcode project. So let's hop over to our storyboard and drag and drop a navigation bar on top of the screen and we also need a bar button item so i'll put it over here and give uh, give this navigation controller some constraints so it will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and a fixed height of 44 let it be it's okay and now we also need a table view so i'll drag and drop and give it constraints as well so it will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and edit so just uh, uh, edit the title of this button to edit and we need to connect uh, outlets so first we need table view i will say table view and edit uh, we, uh, we need both outlet and action of this edit button so this will be edit let it be btn and let's uh, get action of it so action will be edit pressed and this will be action of type ui bar button item and hit connect so we are done with the storyboard part uh, let's hop over to our view controller so first uh, we need uh, data to populate our table view so i will say let's say animals animals and say bat okay bat is a bird let it be cat rat and butterfly uh, butterfly is inside anyways it doesn't matter so we have our data over here so as we all know for table view we need a uh, table view delegate so table view delegate and we need table view data source if you are totally new to table view uh, i have a couple of videos on basic table view and the custom table view cell and everything i'll post them in the link above so do check them out otherwise continue and we need to assign delegate and data source to our table view so we will say table view dot delegate is equal to self and this will be let uh, let's say var and here we will say table view dot data source equal to self as well and uh, if you recall from your last table view experiences we need two basic methods one is number of rows in section and cell for row at index path so cell for row at index path so this will be return will return number of elements in our uh, animals array so animals dot count and for cell we will create a cell so let cell equal to ui table view cell so this is the basic type of cell you can create like you don't need to give identifier and all that shit so dot default and reuse identifier will be nil let and this will be cell dot text label dot text equal to animals array index path dot row and we will just return this cell and let's check if it's working or not and hit play so this is my previous app don't mind we don't have cow and elephant this time so here is our application so it looks fine okay the edit button went up so let's change some constraints so let's get rid of all the constraints right now clear constraints and we will view this as iphone x and okay i can see the problem so what we will do is just drag this down and bring this bar thing a little bit next to the safe area and give constraints again so zero from top zero from left zero from right and a fixed height and select your table view and do the same thing zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and hit enter and let's run it once again and see how it looks and it looks fine so right now if i press edit nothing happens so let's code for that 
So view controller, uh, we need two more methods to be able to uh, edit our table view. So one is just type move, we get both the methods. First is can move row. So this just tells table view that is the table view cells movable. And one more move we need is move row add. So for, uh, for the first uh, function, it's just true. So basically the table view cells are editable. And for this function, uh, it has two uh, parameters. One is source index path and another is destination index path. So first we need the item. So let sel selected item equal to, and we will select it from our animals uh, array. So this will be source index path dot row. And we will remove from the array. So animals dot remove and we will pass in the same index path dot row and now we will place it at a new index path dot insert and new element will be item oh yeah it's selected item and at will be destination index path dot row and that's it and so this should be uh, enabled when we press our edit uh, button so it's really simple we will say table view dot is editing is equal to table view dot is editing so it's just like a boolean thing uh, it will just change it if it's true it will become false if it's false it becomes true so the application is loading and if I press edit we are able to edit the cell but the title is still edit, so we will uh, change it to done, and we are still not able to delete our cell. So let's do that. So stop the application and say if table view dot is editing, we will say edit button. Uh, edit. Oh, I forgot to add b. Anyways, edit ttn dot title equal to done else we will set the title else we will set the title to edit so uh, here we change the title of our button and now we need to code for delete so here start typing commit and you will see this table view uh, method which is commit editing style dot 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 and hit enter we need this one so we will check if the editing style is delete. So editing style is equal equal to dot delete. Uh, it's an enum, so we can use it with just dot and open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Here we will just remove the data from our animals array. So animals and index path dot row. And we'll, I will just refresh the table view. So table view dot reload data. So we are done with the application and let's run it for one last time dot remove index path dot row we don't need this and let's run the application for last time so edit uh, done and I will just rearrange this and remove it and done it works edit again remove butterfly works done edit and rearrange so so guys that's how you edit table view cells uh, if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos happy coding